Hey, seen a video where our President Barack Obama recently performed on the Jimmy Fallon show with that whole slow jam thing, and he talked about where he's going to keep it easier for young people to actually have success in life in America and all over the world, which I applaud him. And, you know, maybe a lot of people don't agree or with the values of President Barack Obama, but God has not necessarily called us to honor the man as much as he's called us to honor his office. Now, I'm a Republican. Someone just said, boo, I can hear just like buttons. But the reality, friends, is America really does not have a political problem as much as we do as a spiritual problem. And there is no president that will or ever be able to solve all these problems. And why, did the, why does the president even take most of the heat anyway, you know? It seems like the Messiahs always get crucified. Figure that out. Now, I'm a, gospel, I'm a minister of the Gospel Friends. You can subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. I also got many other Christian preaching ministry videos via YouTube. You just search simply Rob Wood 1, Rob Wood 2 Bs, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one, where I talk about eternity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, God, the Bible, Christianity, etc. You can check those out. But friends, again, America does not necessarily have a political problem as much as we do have a spiritual problem. America, whether you know it or like it or not, was founded upon Christian principles, godly principles, principles of the Bible. Has America violated those principles? Absolutely, in spite of tens of millions of abortions, in spite of rampant, you know, illicit relationships, pornography, sin. Think about it. In the 1950s, Elvis's pants are a little too tight in TV. People are freaking out. Now I can't even watch TV without a remote in my hands because I got t two of my children in the room and every other commercial is just basically borderline vile. Point I'm trying to... Hey, someone just said, come on, man, you're a stuffed shirt. Well, not really, man. I'm a man of God. I'm a preacher. America was founded again upon Christian principles. Hey, remember, Jesus loves you friends. He's got a mighty plan for your life. God has a mighty plan. In the book of Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, the Bible clearly says God has a plan for you, plan for a hope and a future, plans for an expected end. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, it says, if my people, God's people, who are called by his name, will humble themselves and pray, seek his face, God will hear from heaven and he will heal their land. We've got to have the land of America healed once again, my friends. Join me in prayer right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for America. We thank you for this great nation that you chose. You sent out more missionaries all over the face of the earth. We even pray for our President Barack Obama. Father, we love him. we got a mighty plan for his life. Continue to touch him. Whoever is to be voted in this year, we continue to pray for them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Friends, if you've never accepted Christ, say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, if you prayed that prayer, I hope you meant it. God honors your faith. Remember, when you take your last breath, either the elevator goes up where there's life insurance or it goes down to the basement where there's fire insurance. And you ask me, how long is eternity? My God, man, it's without end. We're spiritually created beings. You will never die. I will never die. When you take your last breath, friends, either it goes up or it goes down. If you got Christ in your heart, that's the life insurance. If you don't, man, I tell you, I don't think hell's gotten any cooler, to be honest with you. Friends, Jesus loves you. You know this scripture, the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that if you'd believe in Jesus, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting life. Hey, the Lord loves you. If you want to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. Many other Christian preaching ministry videos via YouTube. Be blessed in Jesus' name.